Now to the latest on the YouTube shooting. Good news today on the victim who was most seriously injured when a disgruntled video creator opened fire Tuesday at the headquarters of the video sharing site. A man in his 30s who had been in critical condition has been upgraded now to fair condition. He's the only one still hospitalized. ABC 7 News reporter Matt Keller is live at YouTube in San Bruno with other developments today. Matt. Kristen, 24 hours ago, crime scene tape was still up here, and Cherry Avenue was closed to traffic. Today, more normalcy. People are headed back to work, but changes reminding everyone of what happened on Tuesday. What you're looking at wasn't a big deal. Several San Bruno fire units responded to YouTube's headquarters on Cherry Avenue at 8.15 this morning. A manual fire alarm was pulled. They don't know if it was intentional, but all firefighters had to do was reset the system. Of course, every emergency response here at the site of Tuesday's shooting can bring on a lot of anxiety. YouTube is trying its best to make employees feel comfortable. And we will be increasing the security we have at all of our offices worldwide to make them more secure, not only in the near term, but in the long term. That increased security was very visible this morning. We saw many workers go inside the building today for the first time since the shooting under the watchful eye of several guards. San Bruno police also has two officers stationed at the campus today. The parking garage entrance next to the courtyard where the shooting took place was closed. Cars were directed up to another entrance and instead of just passing through a gate arm, drivers also had to have a guard open another security gate. All these new protocols being done in an effort to make people feel safe, all the while reminding them of the violence that took place on Tuesday. YouTube has told workers they can take some time off or work from home, but many choosing to come in anyways. Reporting live in San Bruno, Matt Keller, ABC 7 News.